Hi Stampers, this is Travis. Today is Technique Tuesday. So I'm excited to be here. You're, maybe you're sick of seeing my face because I've done so many videos in the last week. Um, celebration is over. So it ended in February 28th, but I'm happy to tell you that it's coming back in July and August with all new celebration products. So I hope you enjoyed those videos. Uh, you won't be able to get those uh, products any longer, but don't dismay because you can still use those ideas. Just use different designer series paper, different stamps, and um, you can still make those cards and try those techniques. So that being said, I want to tell you that um, today I'm going to use um, different items from the um, from the mini catalog, the January through June spring mini catalog. So I call it spring mini catalog. So much easier. Um, I'm going to use the Dandy Garden Suite. And I'm excited to tell you that there's lots of product in that suite. Um, pages 24 through 27 of your mini catalog. So if you have that, take a peek. If you don't have a mini catalog, we can get one to you because it's still good through June. And um, I'm excited to tell you there's two stamp sets. There's a there's a punch, there's dies, there's tons of other product in there, and we're going to use a lot of it today. I'm also going to do a technique that one of my stampers asked for. She said, can you please show us some white craft ink? And that's something I don't think I've ever demonstrated in a, in a video. So yes, I am here to tell you that you um, can purchase, still purchase our white craft ink. And this is the only color that it comes in now, craft ink. And um, it comes with a re-inker, okay? So you will need to re-ink your pad when it arrives. It'll be completely dry when it arrives, uninked, and just ink it up with that re-inker. So I've had people ask me, why isn't my pad inked? Well, it's because it's pigment ink and they don't want it to dry out. It's kind of like paint. So it's not dye ink and it's not solvent ink, okay? So it's pigment ink. So they want you to ink it up yourself. And you can buy another re-inker if you need it. Okay, so um, that being said, also I want to tell you that there are five in colors that are going to be retiring in May. So the new catalog is coming out in May. And we'll have five new in colors for two years. However, we do have five that are retiring that have been around for two years. And I know they're some of your favorites because they are, they are mine too. It's um, these five pads. So we have Pretty Peacock. Um, which is a beautiful green. Uh, we also have Purple Posy, Rococo Rose, one of my very favorites, Seaside Spray, gorgeous, and Terracotta Tile. So if you have these pads and you don't have the reinker, now's the time to get it. Don't wait because they will be gone. And also, if you want cardstock, buy an extra pack of cardstock because it will be gone also. So these colors will be retiring, and I know a lot of people will be bummed when they can't get those reinkers. I always buy the pads and the reinkers at the same time because there's techniques you can do with the reinkers also. And I just wanted to tell you that, that don't wait because the new catalog is coming out in May this year, not June. So we should know the retirement list in April this year. So we'll know what products are leaving and what's coming in new and you'll love. Okay, so let's get started today on our card and our technique. This is um, going to take a little while. So this is a white piece of cardstock. This is extra thick. I folded it in half, so it's five and a half by eight and a half folded in half card base. Now I'm using um, shaded spruce. So this is our um, this is cut just a little bit smaller. I'm going to layer this uh, on bumblebee. So I've cut it. This is just a little bit over four by five and a quarter and this is a little bit under so that they layer nicely and just a smidge on the edges okay smidge a word i think so okay so the technique i'm going to show you today is an interesting one i'm going to show you lots of different things so i'm going to use my stamparatus today and as i told you i'm using that dandy garden suite and dandel uh, dragonfly garden is one of the stamp sets in the suite and I am using this big stamp right here, and I'm going to use the, the dragonfly. I think I'm going to use this dragonfly. I'm also going to use a saying from Garden Wishes, which is also in that suite. So let's get started. If you have a Stamparatus, you're probably loving it. I'm just going to put my cardstock in like this. 
I'm going to put my very heavy-duty magnet down. I'm going to take my stamp, and I'm going to lay my stamp wherever I want it to be. It's very sticky. Okay, so this is a red rubber stamp, cling stamp. That's why it's so sticky. And it has the foam, so you don't need the foam pad on your Stamparatus. You only need the foam pad when you are using photopolymer stamps. Okay, so take the foam pad out if you're using red rubber cling stamps. Okay, I am going to adhere that to my to my Stamparatus um, acrylic, and I'm going to use shaded spruce ink. Okay, so what I want to do now is just ink this up with my shaded spruce and. The, one of the very cool things about your Stamparatus is if you are a perfect stamper and you don't get it quite inked up, you can give it a second shot. We'll see how this goes. Give it a little press. Yeah, I could probably use a little bit more ink over here. So I'm going to do that again. See that magnet holds everything in place. So nice. Okay, so I'm gonna press it right there. Okay, looking really good now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean that stamp off using my chamois. So do you have a chamois? If you don't have a chamois, you probably have a scrub. Um, a scrub works, but not as good for this technique because um, you can't squish it up in a ball like this and clean your stamps on your Stamparatus. Um, the chamois, I think they're only like eight bucks and you just wet them and keep them moist and then they are awesome. They stain, they're ugly, but they work awesome. Okay, I'm going to close this pad. And now what I want to do is I want to use this white craft pad. But what I want to do first is I want to leave that where it's at, but I want to move my cardstock just a little bit. So I'm going to do a shadow technique. Okay, so I'm gonna move my cardstock out about this far and maybe move it down just a smidge. Okay, so it's just like that. So the shadow technique is so easy with the Stamparatus. Now I'm gonna use my white, Whisper White, and I'm going to ink up my stamp with Whisper White ink. And I'm going to stamp it again. Okay, so you can see the cool technique. It's like a shadow. And um, you can emboss this if you'd like. You could put white embossing powder on here. You can leave it as is. It does take a little bit longer to dry because as I said, it's pigment ink. So you can see it's very wet. All right, I got mine nice and inked up, okay, my pad. So um, that being said, you will either need to use your heat gun or be patient and let it dry on its own. It's your choice. <laughs> okay, so let's take it out of here. And I can tell you that this makes, uh, the Stamparatus makes this technique super easy. In the old days, before we had the Stamparatus, it was like a guessing game. Am I, is this gonna stamp in the right place? Is it gonna look right? And we don't have that anymore, okay? So I am going to go ahead and you can clean, even craft ink, even though it's pigment ink, you can clean that with your Stamparatus, with your chamois. And um, if you want, you could even spritz a little mist on there which I probably will do to get all that ink off. But for now, I'm just gonna take most of it off just to get it off of there. It doesn't stain like the Saison does. It doesn't stain, it's just like a paint. I don't know, it's very sticky. It's kind of like a paint. I don't know how to explain it other than that, pigment ink. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back in the case. And now I'm gonna get out our dragonfly. And this is the one I'm gonna to use today. This is a two-step stamp. You don't have to use it as a two-step stamp, but it has the wings separately. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna to use that, okay? 
So I am going to put our stamp on there like that. Okay, and I'm gonna let this dry. If it doesn't dry all the way, I have my heat gun here. And yes, Jean, it's plugged in today. So <laughs> I know, super crazy last time. Okay, so I think I'm done with the stamp apparatus. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. I have a piece of white cardstock and my memento pad. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stamp this a couple times. Do you like dragonflies? Love dragonflies. Aren't they gorgeous? And these look so real. I mean, it's amazing. I have ink on my hand. Oh, well. What else is new? Okay, now I am going to take the wings. Now, I could color this in as is because I use memento ink. I could color this in with my blends, but... Why do that when I have these wings? And what's funny is people think, well, where's the other side? Oh, you'll be surprised how cool this is. So I'm going to use three different shades. I'm going to use Bumblebee. I'm going to use Shaded Spruce. And I'm going to use Rich Razzleberry. And I'm going to use my sponge daubers. So sponge daubers are um, a cool little pack like this, they come five in a pack. I think they're a little pricey, they're $5. But I'm gonna tell you a trick, wash them. So when you're done with them, what I always do is I just take them to the sink and I don't use soap on them. I just rinse them with water until all the ink is out because they will last much, much longer than if you don't. So if you don't and you leave the ink on there, it sort of deteriorates the foam. And I don't know if you can see that, but the first layer is kind of coming off. I had several that I did not know that I was supposed to rinse them, all the ink out, and they deteriorated. But these, these are much better, okay? So I have three of them, and I'm going to use the, I think I'm gonna go with the lightest color first. Okay, so I'm gonna sponge that on first. Uh, I think I'm gonna do that first right here. And then I'm gonna come back with the Rich Razzleberry. I'm gonna do that right down the center. And then I'm gonna come back with the Shaded Spruce. Well, let's just see how cool this looks. <sighs> Give it a little breathe, hot breath, and stamp it. Ooh, I like it. Okay, I could have done a little more yellow, but I like it. Okay, so you need to clean it before you do it again. And the reason is because you don't wanna be like taking all these different colors to the, um, which color am I on? <laughs> uh, back to the, on here. So if I had done, you know, like, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, just clean this, just clean the dauber in between, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna stamp this. So easy to line up. Aren't they awesome? Okay, so now I think with the next ones, I'm gonna do them a little different. I might just stamp them directly in Rich Razzleberry. So you can see the difference. See the difference? Stamping it and then sponging it. Okay, now I'm gonna take my punch. So this is the punch that coordinates. It actually, it actually coordinates also with the designer series paper that's shown on page 24. And that's a six by six pack of paper that's amazing. So I'm going to punch these out. Totally easy to line up. You get a bonus little tiny one. And then punch this one out. I think I really like this little rainbow one a lot. I'm punching it so it doesn't go flying out into my ink pad. Okay. Oh, love it. Okay. I'm going to close these for now. I need to use one pad again to make the same. But close this for now. So I did have a coffee this morning. And I am hyper. Hope you can't, hope you can't tell that I'm too crazy. 
to hyper. Okay, now I'm gonna clean this real quick. Boy, I really sunk that into the sunk that into that pad. Got a lot of ink on it. So sometimes I clean that um, that chamois. I just take it to the um, take it to the sink and rinse it out, even if it you know even if it's not dry. Okay, and where's the other stamp? Here it is. Might as well clean that too. You don't mind. You don't mind watching me clean my stamps, do you? It's important to clean your stamps. I'll be cleaning this one better later. Okay, now I am going to take my, it's almost dry, okay? So what I wanna do now is I want to take these little tiny, I don't know, they're fireflies. That's what we call them here in St. Louis, fireflies, lightning bugs. And I'm going to stamp these in our white ink. Okay, so I want to stamp a few of these. Just kind of up here. Go off the paper a little. Ooh, how cute are those? Okay. How many more do I need? Do I need more? No, I do not. Don't do more. Less is more. Good. I'm done. Okay, again, I could emboss those. I could just use clear embossing powder or white embossing powder, and I could uh, heat emboss those. Okay. Don't think I need to. I think I do need to dry them, however, and I'm going to use my heat gun to dry them. So hang on a second. Give this a quick dry. See, I did have it plugged in. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to adhere these dragonflies. I think I'm going to adhere one with just adhesive, so I'm using my seal. So I'm just going to adhere this. Oh, hello, very sticky. Kind of up high. I think I want it up here. And then this one I'm going to put a couple dimensionals on. I'm sure these are small, so I'm going to put on four. And I'm going to pop this up. This one's going to be popped up. And I'm going to let it go over just a tad because I'm going to add this to some cardstock. Okay. So I am going to put some adhesive on the back. And... Add that to my bumblebee cardstock. So there's our layer. Oop, right before I, I moved, right before I stuck it down. But the cool thing about seal is you do have a little bit of time to kind of lift it up. Okay. Now it needs a saying, right? So what I'm gonna do, what I did was I cut one of these out. A bumblebee. So this is what uh, dies is this from? You're probably wondering. This is from Stitched. Oh, I love these. Stitched Rectangle. Look how many you get. Well, you don't need to see all my extra paper, but Stitched Rectangle dies. Uh, love them. So I use this one and I cut this out ahead of time. So you didn't have to see me doing that. We've spent enough time working on this. So, okay. So what I want to do is stamp a greeting on here, and I'm going to use Garden Wishes, which happens to be right here across my table. And I'm going to use the saying that says, made with love for a true friend. Okay, so I'm going to put that on a block. And I'm going to use 
the Rich Razzleberry. Just to bring the Rich Razzleberry back in more, because I'm not using Rich Razzleberry cardstock. Okay. So I need to bring that color in a little more. Perfect. All right. Now, I think that also needs to be popped up, so I'm going to use some more dimensionals. I don't know where my big ones are, so we're going to use these tiny ones. And we're almost done. Hang in there. Don't leave me yet, because this is a cool, cute card when it's finished. Now I'm just going to put that down here. Like that. I'm going to mount this onto my card. Make sure it's centered. Yes. And then my last thing is I'm going to use a ladybug trinket. This is also from the suite. And I'm going to use that with a mini glue dot. So all you do is just stick it right onto the mini, well, maybe, my fingers are sticky, onto the mini glue dot, and then you can put it anywhere you want. Okay, folks, I think I've shown you all the product today, and I hope you like the technique that I chose to display the white craft ink. Okay, remember, you can emboss with that too. I didn't emboss with it today. I just did it white, um, white ink. It does take a little bit to dry, so don't be too impatient. Okay, hope you enjoyed this and I will see you later. Bye.